G'day boys and girls, nice to see you on screen. Now, I'm not sure where Alice is, but I think I better go and find her. I haven't seen her for a little while. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi Al. Hey. What are you doing? Waiting for my breakfast, you promised me you make me some. That's right, you've been waiting a really long time. You must be hungry. Yeah. Now, I want you, boys and girls, I'm going to give you about 10 seconds, and I want you to have a think of something important that you've waited for. So here you go. Have a think. How did you go? I hope you thought of something important that you waited a long time for. Probably wasn't Alice's breakfast. Now, in the Bible reading and the sermon when Ben talks today, we're going to hear about how some people waited a really long time for something really, really, really important. They waited for the birth of Jesus. They knew that that was a promise that was to happen and they waited forever, nearly it felt like for them, for Jesus to be born. And that's a bit like us. We're waiting for Jesus to come back. So if you can remember one key thing today is that the people waited and we're waiting for Jesus. And our kids talk with a prayer. We've got a little guest presenter for that. See you later. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for all your good promises and we thank you that all your promises always come true. And we pray, Lord, that you would help us to wait patiently for Jesus and to really look forward for his return. Amen.